Back with another video, so you know at that time, let you know what's in my mind. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Check out the other videos when you got time. And today, we're gonna talk about the art of cutting people off at points in your life when you're trying to level up, when you're trying to do things better, you know, when you're trying to keep your business to yourself, when you're trying to just evolve. So sometimes you just gotta take that time and separate from the world, separate from everybody. Even if it ain't for no extended period of time, you still need to take time periodically to yourself for one thing, to reassess assess yourself you know reassess your life also relieve yourself of the stress and burdens things that other people put on you that may be warranted or may be unwarranted basically learning how to be alone is one of the most important things that you need to grasp when you on a journey to learning yourself and learning to how to be a better version of yourself and with that come cutting off people sometimes it may be necessary to cut off everybody but what I'm speaking on specifically is cutting off the wrong people the cut off gang gotta be strong. Just some people just gotta get cut off and everybody ain't meant to go where you finna go or where you trying to go. It's because you got the wrong people around you where you ain't got access to that level of life yet. So these just a few concepts that you need to understand to get your cut off game proper. Number one, the main thing is you gotta know your worth. When you know your worth, you stop seeking outside validation. Ain't no situation where you feel like you gotta have people around you all the time because you're not looking to have them validate you anyway. Also because you know your own worth will help you determine the worth of others and how their worth apply to your life and in order to know your own worth man you got to be happy with yourself and if you unhappy with yourself then you need to figure out why and then work on them things to cure the unhappiness that you have with yourself don't look for the quick fixes look for the sol real solutions to the problem don't wipe around the magazines on the table you know what i'm saying and just make the table look clean lift up the magazines wipe up on them motherfuckers you know what i'm saying you gotta reach the underlying solution of the problem and that way you'll be able to reach that true happiness of yourself and you'll feel better about it because you know that you worked on them things and made them better about yourself would also add to your confidence and knowing your worth and being happy with yourself also include being happy with spending time alone and for some people that may be easier than others you know like me i'm naturally like a more introverted person so i like to you know spend time by myself anyway versus being around a lot of people all the time you know what i'm saying that shit get draining and, and irritating to me so i'll be needing the time alone to be by myself anyway just to reboot and even if you ain't an introverted type of person knowing that you need to take that time alone to work on things for yourself that'll also help add to knowing your work because you know all right man regardless of whatever i feel like i uh, want to do i know what i need to do to work on improving the worth that i have in myself second concept are the cutting people off is you need to understand that the wrong people will be detrimental to your life. So if you don't cut out the wrong people, they will most definitely be detrimental to your life in some kind of way. It may be small, hopefully it's on a small scale, but it could be on catastrophic scale as well. Them type of people will bring you unwarranted situations. They'll hurt you, they'll lie to you, they'll damage you, they'll sabotage you. You know, that right there should be even more of a catalyst for you want to cut people off. Number three, Remember that you was born alone and you're going to die alone. You can't here alone, you're going to leave alone. And that's just more than a cliche. Can't nobody live your life for you. Can't no, Don't nobody know what it is to really truly walk in your shoes regardless of how much they may understand. Y'all could have had the exact same experiences at the exact same time. At the end of the day, they didn't experience it from your shoes and you didn't experience life from nobody else's shoes. So you would totally never get nobody else's perspective and nobody else will totally get your perspective it's the way that we develop our concept of how we interpret the things that happen in our life so you can always be able to relate to somebody but you can never truly get it until you walk into somebody else's shoes that's what born alone die alone mean meaning that the decision that you make in your life you gotta really deal with the consequences of now your consequences may affect other people hence the previous concept you know getting rid of the wrong type of people because they can be detrimental to your life but at the end of the day you experience your life 100%. You the only one that's done 100% of the time. And you the only one that got to deal with the rewards or the consequences or the repercussions of your action. And that gonna lead me into 
the last concept, which is you gotta be willing to deal with the consequences of your actions on your own. Now, th this one thing that you gotta understand now, if you gonna go cutting people off when you just going through life and you decide that you gonna take that time to yourself and you gonna really just, just separate from the crowd for a minute, people get to start feeling a certain kind of way because you doing what it is that you need to do for yourself. You gotta realize you gotta be able to stand on your own for real now, you know what I'm saying? You can't be just doing it as no act, thinking you garner some type of praise from the people that's around you, or trying to do it as some type of manipulation tactic to make people around you appreciate you more. You gotta really be about this shit. You gotta be, you gotta understand that <laughs> it ain't no going around asking for shit. It's gonna be better for you to figure out how to do things on your own. For example, for a lot of time, I would have a phone, but I didn't have a phone number on where people could actually call me and get in contact with me because I don't like people just being able to really just get in contact with me when they feel like I gotta have that that barrier right there so I can be able to have that space for myself. So I mean for example if I was to go somewhere and take a road trip by myself, you know, and not have no phone, you know what I'm saying, cause I don't want nobody to be, you know what I'm saying, because I don't want to be bothered with nobody just taking that time. If I catch a flat, I already know that I that I'm gonna have to change this time and have to do this. Or if I run out of gas, I already know, you know, it's gonna be a walk to wherever gas station, whatever. So don't even bitch them on don't even cry about it just be willing to deal with that you got to be willing to really stand on your own and be about your business for real because at the end of the day really and truly all you have to depend on is you and you gotta drill that concept into your head. And at the end of the day too, man, it ain't nothing better than not having to ask for help. Ain't nothing wrong with asking for help sometimes when you need help, but it ain't nothing like not having to ask nobody for nothing. And on top of that, man, the people who meant to be in your life, they gonna find a way to be in your life, man. They gonna understand you. They gonna understand what you need to go through, recognize that you need your space. They gonna recognize whatever mission you on. They gonna find a way. You gonna know the people that need to be in your life man they gonna be the ones that you know it's just gonna be the ones that gonna cop the attitudes the ones that's gonna get the gossiping about you behind your back even more because they probably was already doing it before anyway it's gonna be those people that should have never been around you anyway you're gonna really get rid of the people and be able to weed the wrong type of people out of your life sometimes they, they cunning enough to stick around a little bit longer so you got to be cautious too don't be fooled you know you got to know their motives and all that stuff there too but at the end of the day man it's just about getting rid of the wrong people and having the right people around you know what I'm saying because at the end of the day no one is an island and realistically no one person can live on earth by themselves totally 100% completely you know regardless of how much someone may try we all need others in this world where, you know whether we want to admit it or not I'm saying you depend on people whether you want to or not because if you go into the grocery store then you had to depend on the people in Walmart to start the shelves and they had to depend on the people to deliver the trucks and the, the truck drivers had to, deli had to had to depend on the farmers to make the food and you know grow the food and and we all gonna be involved with some type of people but just make sure that it's right people so with that being said that's the video man make sure y'all stay on y'all grind don't let nobody stop you you don't need validation for nobody but yourself and i see that my light went off so i'm right on time to the next video i'm up out of here peace love gone the sun illuminates the eyes behind these tinted lens Deep within your mind, it's hidden gems Take the time to dig How we so conscious with no conscious Feel unconscious still How can we budget trying to bond all these monthly bills They taught us lies about the world that really wasn't real Hidden agendas that have still yet to be revealed